Hello guys, welcome back to the World 3-5 of Plants vs. Zombies, the No Sunflower Challenge. We're gonna do it now, and it's gonna be fun. So if you don't mind, let's get started here. We have our pool cleaner set up. So now if something gets through, at least the entire row gets wiped out instead of just the one zombie. But I have to admit, the visual of a, a lawnmower running into a pool is still hilarious to me. So this is just going to be a normal level. The sunflower thing is not really going to affect anything that happens here. It's just going to go on like it normally does. I don't like this level at all. I don't think it's that interesting. It's kind of boring. But, uh... Uh, well, what can you do? I mean, at least it's a normal level. They always do give you a lot of sunflower... Or, I mean, cherry bombs on these levels. And it looks like we're going to need some right away here. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Any lily pads that we get, you might as well put out right away. Walnuts would be helpful, but... Oh, jeez. Let's put Paul player down here. I mean, let's go ahead and just use it. And let's do this one here before... I'm being a little too liberal with the uh, cherry bombs, me perhaps, but... I feel like it's not... Oh, should we need to use them to get rid of these? Is that... Hang on. Um... Stop. <laughs> we don't have that much in the way of pool protection at the moment, so... Oh, thank goodness we got rid of both of those. Now let's get rid of these down here. Okay, good. Now let's fortify rows three and four here. Okay, it's a good thing we planted that nut, because apparently we needed it. Let's wait on this one, see what comes next. Again, I keep, like, worrying because it's like, oh, I have to worry about this because, like, you don't know where they're going to show up, but... But this is row... this is one of those levels where it doesn't matter. You don't have to do that. How about if we put some nuts out here? So that that way... I think I should have probably put that on the bottom, but okay. Nope. I think so. Wow, I thought like Yeah, well, let's just go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna wait a little bit on this one. <laughs> I don't wanna think it's so much about this. It's like I have the same anxiety as I would if it was still a no sunflower level. But you don't have to worry about that on these multiples of five. I said that like eight times I know. It's almost like I have to keep reminding myself or something. Uh-oh, 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 um, sure. Yeah, that was bad, that was bad. Here, block this guy here. Oh, um, yeah, wow. This is kind of bad, actually, because, uh... Well, we just need to put the long left is all we really need to do. That's how you get rid of them normally. I don't know why you think this is so different here. Firepower on these top two rows here. We got walnuts on all the other rows, so I think we're okay. I don't know why I'm talking about this so much up here. Yeah, the tiny zombies have a lot less HP than they normally would. But, uh, but good. So they go down faster. Uh, let's wait before we dig this up. No, no, let's not wait now. We have to find something else in there. So I'm gonna set some more of these out here. Just right there for you. If we can hold these back, then the cherry bombs can get more of them at once. Wow, they're dying fast now. Hell to the yeah. Can we just like here? I think we're done actually. Yeah we are! Oh wow, the Han penis. The Hana penis. It's been a while since we've seen Han fuck, but there he is. So, yeah, we could probably use those. Oh boy, we got Zambonis, y'all. Zambonis, actually. Nothing else too dangerous here, though. No, no, uh, no snorkel zombies. Also, this is going to be a level 6, so probably won't be too bad. But let's get our usual suspects here. Jalapeno will be a welcome addition to the party. But now we have to choose between pea shooters and snow peas. Are we really going to keep going with this snow pea thing? I feel like they've definitely been helping, but it's been a real 
strain on the sun supply, so do we really want to commit to this? Like, they're basically a, a repeater for 175 sun, if you look at it that way. If they half the speed of a zombie, then they are. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We are gonna do that, and miss a note while we sing this song, because we are so stupid that we can't think of lyrics to a song, and now it's time to go to the foreground voice. Because before we were singing the background and it was really so stupid. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. It's time for words. I sing too much in these episodes. There is so much singing there is ridiculous. What the hell am I gonna do when I take to the dumps? Will I take a shower afterwards? I guess I should. Because it stinks. And even if my body does not clean it, maybe the air doesn't, it would smell nice. Nice and fresh, the fragrant Irish spring air. It would smell so very, very nice. Take a whiff. Even if you're in the bathroom, it doesn't mean that it smells bad. Take a whiff. Because now it smells like Irish spring smoke now. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna wait a little bit before I bust. Why are you waiting, though? I'm waiting because I feel like it delays the other zombies, but I just, uh... I just not talking about that. It either does or it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it is, though. Not in this one. Also, look at this. Well, that we can just take care of with a landmine, but still. I kind of think maybe I should go ahead and plant a kelp just to be on the safe side, but at the same time, I feel like I'd be wasting it if it ended up eating just a regular zombie. Oh, shoot, you know what else I just thought of? I don't have regular pea shooters to plant on the middle row, so I have to plant snow peas on all six of them. Which could be bad. I mean, hopefully not, but still. So far, so good. When we have enough for the next snow peas, it's just a matter of where we're gonna plant it. Where are we gonna plant this little sucker? I really don't know at all. Just have to wait and see where the next zombie comes out. And we will make a decision then. Hell yeah, ho. I don't know why I said hell yeah, the o. So jalapeno is 125 sun, though. We already know we're gonna need it there. So we just go ahead, yeah, let's go ahead and plant it there. So far it's looking good, but that does not mean that it will in eight minutes. I don't think this round will last eight. It might, but then again, might not. I really don't know if it will or it will not. This might not be the best strategy either, because then another one shows up behind him. But I'm sitting here relaxing because like, oh, I took care of that row. And then they eat, this guy gets eaten, the next guy is right here at this point. And I don't have anything there, like, to support it. Oh, I should go ahead and plant this last one here, I suppose. Yeah, we can just use kelp to take care of the rest. So I already have another one here, so... Yeah. So far, so good. Plus, we also have the pool cleaners, which is better than what we had before. We also need lily pads, though, so be mindful of that. It's looking pretty good. There were no snorkel zombies on this level, though, and I can't help but feel like that's gonna make this massively easier. Alright. See, if I planted that kelp a little further back, the next wave would- well, would it not start until he was dead? Because I've seen the next wave start before the last zombie was dead, so... I don't think that's really true. Alright. We got one on each row. Well, okay. We can take care of one of them. Probably still be able to plant the snow pea on the other row. Before it gets there. But even if that doesn't work, we can still plant squash just to buy time here. Jalapeno, definitely not. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Squash him? So I squash him? Yeah, let's squash him. I'm gonna regret that 
but maybe not because I can kelp this guy. But I had to get rid of that, like there was no way. Yeah, kelp him. But now we still have nothing on either of these two rows. We're gonna be stuck using TSPPs all through this, aren't we? We might just be. I mean, at least the land rows are all safe, except for those Zambonis, though. And I really can't help but feel like we need to save the squash for them, so I don't have to Han fuck them. Boy, at this point, even a Snoky's not gonna be enough to take one of these out. Okay. For now, we're just gonna do that. I hate it, but that's all I can do. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Some more here. Landros are fine. If we can just get one more sun, this this guy's okay. I can still get this guy with just a snow pea. How bad do I really need snow peas on those water levels anyway? I mean, like, okay, one, two, three. He might still. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I feel so much better now. Even one of these rows being protected massively decreases the workload here. So let's just relax and watch things go down. In fact, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It is just a regular zombie, but we're not going to get a Snoopy in time anyway. So might as well put the kelp out and have it recharging. Mm. Boy, this is something else, let me tell you. And this is level 3-6, like the easiest of the last five. If you don't count 310, or if you count 310. Which you know 310's not going to be bad. Ooh, ew, this, this is two zombies right here, isn't it? I think it is. This might be one of those rare situations where the jalapeno might be worth it. No, here. Kelp can eat two at once, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure about that, but if they can, I think they just did. Ah, oh, they keep showing up on that third row. I mean, thank god the fourth row is fortified now. Really thank god it is. There have to be, like, better things I can do here. There's no way to get rid of that. And we can still kelp this one and just... Crap, here it comes again. I might just wait this out for a little bit here. Man, that guy looks like Soda from Danganronpa 2. I can't believe it. Well, he's going pretty fast, too. He's really driving that thing... To see how long. I mean, the Snoopy obviously is not slowing him down, but I want to see how far he gets. Or how dead he gets, I mean. Plus, I'm also buying time here. Okay, that's enough. We did actually get him to, uh, like, the next stage of damage there, apparently. Okay, there. Thank goodness the kelp is so cheap. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't sure if those were going to show up. I wasn't sure, because I knew... Ugh. Wow, so, well, wow, there's your jalapeno use right there. How much HP do they have? Is everything okay on the waterfront? Because if not... I mean, we got the lawnmowers. We're okay. No matter what happens here. Wow, I don't have enough for a jalapeno. And I'm not going to for a while here. Okay, um, we're gonna have to. Oh, I killed all three of them. Wow. Okay, um, we need to. Shit, oh man. Uh, is this gonna be okay? This is this guy gonna die? I'm more. I should be more worried about this guy up here, I guess. But man, I should have planted a potato mine. I guess I don't know if that would work on those or not. <laughs> man, a lawnmower running over a Zomboni. That's ridiculous, man. We had to use a lawnmower on 3-6. Boy, that's bad. I'm kinda not surprised, though. Kinda not surprised. 
Oh, there goes those. Actually, those could help too. They're a cheaper alternative to jalapenos. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop this snow pea thing because I don't think that's gonna continue to keep working. We need to be able to diversify our offense a little bit better than that. It's just that the snow helps so much though, that slowdown, it helps so much. It's more importantly, it one-shots the Zambonis. But then again, it also disappears once it does that. Squash can do the same thing for half the sun cost, so I don't know. It's a little short for a video, it's only 15 minutes, but uh... I guess we can try it. I didn't really use that jalapeno ever, did I? I don't know how much of a use I have for it. You only have seven slots here. I don't remember how much the eight slot thing is worth, but I probably have enough for it. But whatever, we're just going to try it with what we got here. <laughs> Level 3-7, y'all. This is going to be a long-ass video. They're going to start getting long here, I guess, a little bit. Maybe that's okay. I have not been singing much. But maybe that doesn't mean that I should start again. I guess the good news about the Zombonis is that there's only four lanes they could show up on. So, like, planting a spike on one row at least gives you a 25% shot at insta-killing the next one that shows up without having to worry about it. I don't know. Oh man, look how much faster that we can get plants out. If we use the 100 sun ones. Yeah. Snow peas are good, but man, it's so much sun though. So this, I'm already more relaxed using the 100 sun plants here. I can't believe this late in the game I'm using these things. But that's what kind of what you have to do though, just about. That that's all you really have that costs so little. Put two in there. Just get our land lanes fortified first, and then we can worry about everything else. Okay, I'm a little. Wait a minute, one. I don't know if this guy's gonna die. Uh, Two, three, four. Okay, okay, he had one less hit than I thought he did. Also, I didn't get the plant out until I'd already seen him, so this guy should be okay, because he was he's been getting hit since he was off the screen. Let's go ahead and finish that row there. We're also ready to uh, get, line, get our um, lily pad situation started here. There's our first one. So I'm not picking up my money. It's getting slow. It's time to sing. But then maybe it's not time to sing because it is stopping me from drinking. And when I want a drink, I will have one I say. I think that I am so very gay. I'm not actually, but it's Pride Month, so I thought I should at least give a shout out. That's some way to give a shout out by saying that you are when you're not, but oh well. There, every row's covered. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're okay, but every row is covered with something. Every row is dressed. Concealed. The boobs are concealed. Chiaki's boobs are not when she wears her swimsuit, because her boobs are huge. Unexpectedly huge. Unexpectedly gargantuar. No pun intended. No tit intended. Let's just see what happens here. Mm -hmm. I keep saying that though, like, oh, see what happens. Thank goodness one of these is enough to take out a conehead. Because if that weren't true, I don't know if you could do this. Also, I have a lot of sun right now. Which doesn't mean I'm going to start, like, going crazy here, but... Just listen for the sound of that engine starting hilariously. I forgot to check and see if there were snorkels in this level. Um, row 4, I can already tell it's going to need the next one, so here. So that's a 
a lot of zombies on that row. <laughs> Sink your butt down. Oh boy, my pool cleaner is gonna have a time lifting up your bodies from down there. I don't think that he thinks I pay him enough for this. I might have to give him a raise. Holy shit. That is probably what he says when he sees the zombies in my pool now. And then he tries to lift them up, but then they're way too heavy for that because one of them was John Goodman. Oh well, too bad, I guess I better stop. Stop making these jokes, especially fat jokes. I have no business doing that because I'm stupid and I know that I'm dumb. I was dumb just like in Honey. I shrunk the kids when I said that to the movie. Yeah, no reason not to play it. Let's do it. Mm -mm. Yeah, I can't see myself using the spike weed, honestly, for the Zambonis because, like I said before, Squash will do the same. I mean, I guess if you're in an emergency, then maybe. Like, if you don't have Squash and it's recharging, then maybe. But otherwise, no. I just can't see it. Can't see it, y'all. Okay, this guy is gonna be... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's always good to go ahead and if you see something that you're gonna need kelp for, go ahead and put the kelp out because it's really slow to recharge. If you need it again later. It's not that slow, but it's slower than a lot of the other stuff. It's the same with the squash, but they should be slow to recharge. They shouldn't be able to just make a bunch of sun and just massively destroy everything with all the squash in the world or all the kelp in the world. The fact that you even have multiple items that can do what they do is crazy enough. Alright, keep an eye on this dude here. I mean, I think, like, a lily pad and a walnut would do the same as a kelp would. But that costs three times as much sun, and then two of it's gonna get eaten up, you know? So, like, maybe the kelp is better. I don't know. There comes another one. Let's we'll take our time here. Hell, we can even plant some more while we're waiting here. I'm just going to wait, because I don't feel like there is danger at hand. If I was using snow peas, I bet that I would be really screwed and I would not know what the hell to do about that. I guess I'd be more careful in the future, but then I would not be careful because I'm stupid as a butthole and I didn't know how to finish that sentence, so just added a bunch of so I thought I just heard my TTS go off. Oh no. Get... We gotta keep him busy. Sure, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get it! Oh my god, he didn't get it! Holy crap, that was a miracle! We also need to do something about this. Get rid of him. We almost have two plants on each row now. Two, like, um, pea shooters. This is actually extremely good. We're gonna need three more sun to get the next pea shooter. We'll just keep an eye on row three in the meantime. We still have quite a few more waves to go here though, so... Yeah, man, this is so much fun! I can't believe how much fun this is! Like, I thought this was gonna be a pain in the ass, and it's turned out to be... ...exciting, you know? It's interesting. Oh, man. This something for you. Help for you. Yeah, let's just go ahead and eat you. Thank goodness it ate the right zombie. I don't know if it's gonna. Like if it's random which one it eats. I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes when there's two right on top of each other like that. Uh, this cone head might be an issue here because there's a lot protecting him. Oh, we also got this guy here. Also, this plant is partially eaten, so. Watch out for that too. Um, is the kelp gonna? Yeah. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the two out of here. We don't need those kayaks coming in. Sure as hell don't need that. It's starting to become an issue here a little bit. The just this whole crowding of zombies. This crowdfunding. The crowdfunding to try to stop me. Not again! Don't start your engines again! Here, here, get rid of this guy first. And squash. Good! 
Oh my god, there's another one. Jeez. Holy crap. Okay, let me... Here, I'm gonna try something here. Because if he runs over that, I think it stands to reason that would probably blow him up. The only problem is... Oh my god, another one right on top of that? Really? Please spawn, please spawn, please spawn, please spawn, please spawn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you! Yes, it worked. Okay. Boy, that was just enough. Oh, we are stuck using TSBPs all the time now. But maybe that's the whole idea, you know? The point is, get to the final wave with all your lawnmowers intact. If you can do that, you've basically won the stage. Ah, that might be too late. Is he gonna get there in time or not? I'm not making, like, I'm not gaining any sun at all. Oh, now these guys are showing up. That's why you don't want to let those Zambonis get too far in. Because if they do, then you gotta deal with this. We do have two peas firing on these, though. Which is better than one snow pea, I suppose. Let's do this. Also, um, I almost I saw you earlier. And I was like, wait, what am I gonna do about you? We're gonna have to do this. Oh shit, fucking had to. Uh, here, here, here. Man, you don't know how much I hate doing that, but I had to get rid of him. That sucks. Now that row's completely unprotected. Jeez Louise. I would have lost that lawnmower if I hadn't done that. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if there was another way I could have gotten around that, but. But holy crap. Oh man. Is this the final wave? I think it is. I didn't see. I see those words so many times that I don't even see them when they pop up on the screen anymore. Row 2 seems okay. Like I could probably manage it with TSPPs, but still. This is really bad. I mean, this is like really, really bad. Oh, we're gonna lose this plant. Well, okay. That was one other thing the Plants vs. Zombies 2 let you do that I kind of miss. Should I? Yeah, whatever. It's gonna get tripped anyway. Just try to kill as many of these as I can. Here, get rid of you. I mean, I'm not just gonna give up and say, hey, let the lawnmowers do the rest of the work. I mean, we might as well try. Try to save a few of them. Okay, what I was about to say was Plants for Zombies 2, you could actually trigger a lawnmower before the zombies got to it and just run over them in advance. And there were strategies where you could do that. I don't remember why you would do that, but there were reasons to do it. Maybe because of certain zombies that had certain stipulations about them. But yeah, so, wow. Well, these are going to get to be some pretty long-ass videos. I don't know, though. I might edit down some of them, but... Huh. I know I said I was going to edit a lot of that, the dead air and stuff out, but I kind of feel like... Maybe that that's not necessarily the best thing to do, because it... It kind of kills the atmosphere a little bit sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> I might still, though, if it's like five seconds or something, whatever. This, I see is not what I want to see, but fortunately all it takes is a one lily pad to kind of really eliminate the biggest threat. Because it's not like they duck underwater or something. So I'm not too concerned about them. Hopefully they're not too concerned about me either. But we'll find out next time. See you guys later, bye!